Hey guys, today I want to talk about it's not one of those videos. This is one of these videos. An unplanned video that is just me going through a thing that's really important. Uh, there's not going to be any animations or pings and pops and VFX and you're not going to see a map that zooms. I mean, I might. I might add one in because uh, when I'm editing this I'll be like, God, I'm boring. This is something that's in the news. Um, buried in the news. And I suspect that's exactly why it's even happening. Bill 39, which is the proportional representation bill. This bill establishes a referendum at the next election, a thing which shouldn't have even been happening in the first place because the CAQ said that they were just going to implement the reform. Instead, they're making us vote. Do you want a thing which makes the democracy in more functional and better in almost every way? Mm, you have to say yes. Then if you really want it and you vote yes, Rob Van will give it to you. Fuck! So, Anyway, what has happened is they are using the pandemic as an excuse to not sign in the law. Global pandemic, too hard to sign, too hard to sign. Pandemic could get sick. Well, this pen, I have to sanitize my hand before I pick it up. So, you know, no reform. Um, obviously, this is terrible. I've lived in Canada for a long time and the last two years have been hard for everyone, you know, we're going through this pandemic, you're lonely and you're sad and I think I have been grinding my teeth because my jaw hurts all the time, you know. But what has been hardest for me is watching the country's democracy not deliver for its citizens. What really characterizes the incompetence is the lack of leadership. They just can't get out in front of any of the issues. They can't make decisions that are the right decisions that the experts advise them to make until they're sure that their voter base or the public are going to go along with it. We just get this, well, you know, will people want to go on summer vacation? Oh, well, we wouldn't want to close the border because of blah, 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 they'll be inconvenient. So instead of us getting led through this pandemic with hard but bold decisions that would have prevented so much pain, we just stumbled through this pandemic with these wishy-washy politicians and it sucks. It sucks to watch. It's been so painful. But for me, when I went to sleep at night, I comforted myself with the fact that in 2022, in Quebec, we get to grab that fucking marker and vote for something better. For a better way of doing politics, for a better way of running our government. One that means you don't have a group of people that matter and a group of people who don't. One that means that in almost every metric, you just get kind of higher performance, you know, less corruption or a higher economic output or a better representation in government. Just one of those like awesome upgrades you can apply to your government that most other countries have that when I talk to people from Germany or New Zealand or whatever, they go, what? Canada doesn't have that thing that I thought was kind of standard for the good countries? Oh, weird. It's got the shitty country one still. Weird. Why is that? It's like we still have private health care or we don't have uh, freedom of information um, legislation. We haven't done one of those fundamental things that's just part of running a country, a modern country better. They're basically wanting to take that away. We don't even get to vote on a thing. They'll kick it and they'll be like, well, if you vote for us this time, then we'll blah, blah, blah. So this is why I'm making this. If you live in Quebec, I will encourage you to do something that will demonstrate exactly what's wrong with our current political system, but it will help. And by the way, this matters to me more than anything. <laughs> Everyone who's friends with me is just like, Jesus Christ, Paige, yes, yes, electoral reform. In 20 years time, after it passes, you'll go, oh, geez, <laughs> I promise. Like right now you're like, well, I don't know, like, why should we give women the vote? Trust me, you want to give women the vote. So the call to action is right to your member of the National Assembly. There's a website down here. You just go there, click on the link in the description, find your writing and send an email to your member of the National Assembly. If you don't live in Quebec and you care about proportional representation, find someone you know who does live in Quebec and let them know that this is occurring. A lot of people don't even realize that we're getting shafted, that this is going on. You could find someone who you know who lives in Quebec and you could write up the email for them. Like writing up an email to a politician is such a weird thing whenever you have to do it. You're like, uh, dear politician, you probably won't even reply to this. Here's just me saying I want this. Now it's interesting to me that in the actual exercise of saying to these people, just letting you know that I care about this, we can see why the first past to post system sucks. Because many of you will go to that website 
and you'll see that the politician who represents you is, say, Quebec Solidaire, or the Liberal Party of Quebec. For the Liberal Party of Quebec, well, they're not going to push for electoral reform, they hate electoral reform. And for Quebec Solidaire, they're totally on board with electoral reform, but they're already doing it. You have this problem where, unless you live in a CAQ riding, and by the way, if you live in a CAQ riding, you're the MVP here. It's up to you to help us here. Your vote matters. You matter. You're important to the current government. If you don't live in a CIQ riding or a swing riding, you really don't matter. You aren't represented by the decision makers in government. Now in a proportional system, you have list MPs, which are basically the MPs for everyone. So you can write your email to the list MP. You represent me because I voted for you with my party vote. I would like this thing to be pushed through. This thing matters to me. In the first past the post system, when you're in a riding where the winner isn't the person that you voted for, like, you're shit out of luck. Who do you fucking email? You can email the writing next door, you can lie and say that you're in the writing. You can probably email the premier, but like, can you imagine how ema many emails he gets? And also, your vote is always up for grabs. So, when you go to vote and you put down a party vote, it always counts. Your vote always counts, so what you say always counts. So when you email any politician and say like, hey, by the way, if you do this, I will never vote for your party again, that actually registers with them because your vote's always up for grabs. Even if you're in a safe riding, don't just go, oh, well, it's just YouTube entertainment. I'm on my couch, next video. This isn't one of those times. This is the time to send the email and make the thing happen. Basically, every government has mishandled this pandemic, left, right, doesn't matter. It's been just a giant parade of incompetence. It's not about that. It's about the systems. If we create systems that produce better politicians, then we get better governance. And we have a system that creates worse politicians. And we got the bad governance that we fucking deserve. If you don't write to the politician, then you don't have any right to complain. If the party doesn't matter, it's the system. The system is broken. The broken system produces broken results. Garbage in, garbage out. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to go to that website. I hope you've gone to the website. If, you gone to, if you've gone to the website, you're great. Seriously, you're... That's so important, you know, to do this. Um, yeah.